Joining us now, Congressman Dan Bishop from House Judiciary, along with Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. It's great to have you both on the show. Thanks for spending time with us. Congressman, first to you. We've got reports coming in. The president may ask Congress for more money, more spending at the border if he gets rid of Title 42. They're talking about a, quote, mask migrant event. Border agencies could run out of money by July. What's going on here, Congressman? Liz, uh, we've talked several times over the past year about the catastrophe the Biden administration has unleashed on the border already. If they allow this dropping Title 42 restrictions to go through and to become effective, it's going to unleash a, unleash a tidal wave like we've never seen at the border. Even the signals in advance of that happening uh, have their effect. Last month, 200, over 220,000 uh, illegal crossing encounters at the at the border. It is a it is a continued and increasing disaster. It must stop. Democrats are finally telling the White House that, I believe. And now we've got the breaking news coming in. The CDC say, yes, they will appeal the, the mask ruling uh, out of that uh, judge uh, in Florida who said get rid of masks on airplanes. But, you know, Ken Paxson, we've got the White House is focusing on uh, mask mandates for Americans on airplanes. And then we've got Bill Malusian of Fox News reporting Border Patrol has already stopped. They've already stopped enforcing Title 42 and illegals from Central America. There's a lot of double standards and hypocrisy here. Yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Americans have to wear a mask on airplanes, and we're going to let people cross the border by the thousands and by the millions over, over the year who aren't tested, who might have COVID, and we're going to drop the 42 restrictions, which relate to that. It doesn't make any sense. But clearly, they don't care about border security, and clearly, they don't care about COVID. And, you know, to Ken's point, it's not just about Title 42, Congressman. It's about remain in Mexico. Two and a half million of thereabouts already caught trying to cross illegal under Biden with Title 42 in place. That's nearly the size of Kansas. So Biden says get rid of Trump's pandemic po policy at the border, but now he's getting the CDC to keep mass mandates on, on Americans on airplanes. He's all over the map on that. Liz, one of the real signals, one of the real uh, 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 images of this administration has been one that is lawless. We owe a great debt of gratitude to Attorney General Paxton. Uh, he was involved in getting the OSHA mandate struck down. Uh, they just have been reckless and lawless. And unfortunately, we've, we've, I mean, we've had to rely on our state attorneys general to go to the courts over and over again to get these policies straightened out. We need an administration that respects law, that respects Americans' freedom and personal rights. Yeah, there's disarray and chaos in the White House. Okay, yesterday, you're going to see this sound coming up. The president said it's up to the people if they want to wear a mask. Watch the president say that, and watch the press secretary, Jen Psaki, slam the courts for making health decisions. Watch this. Mr. President, should people continue to wear masks on planes? That's up to them. Public health uh, decisions shouldn't be made by the courts. Uh, they should be made by public health experts. Uh, so again, I can't, I'm not going to get ahead of the Department of Justice. Okay, you know, Ken, so the Supreme Court should not have upheld Obamacare. Courts should not have upheld Medicaid and Medicare spending or vaccine mandates. What is Saki talking about? I have no idea, and it certainly doesn't fit with what Joe Biden just said. The, the reality is the courts are supposed to uphold all laws, uh, whether, it's a, whether it's a law that related to Obamacare or it's related to the, the border. Laws are to be respected if they're real laws, not made up laws by a president. And one of the things that we struggled with with Obamacare was obviously doing something we thought was beyond the constitutional reach of, of, of the uh, Congress. Yeah, that's what Ken, what Ken just said. Congressman. How is it that a president can, with an executive order, circumvent Congress when it comes to our national security? Because now you see a court filing indicating ICE told a federal judge the White House is expected to release 600,000 illegal aliens into the U.S. interior by the end of September. They may catch and release more than 3,000 illegal immigrants from the, you know, at the border every day into the U.S. interior. That's quadruple what we're seeing in March. We're th seeing thousands of convicted criminals, fugitives, and now 42 terrorists caught trying to cross. So how can the, the president circumvent Congress on national security here? Well, Liz, the, there, there are a variety of, uh, you know, we have the bro uh, separated government and the separation of powers and responsibilities. It takes a long time for the courts to catch up with a lawless president. At the end of the day, gosh, I even hate to say it, but the reason impeachment is in the Constitution is because sometimes presidents 
refuse faithfully to execute the laws as they were required to do under the Constitution. If there's ever been a clearer case with this president who's erased the southern border to the detriment of states all over the country, it is Joe Biden. Okay, so, you know, final word, Congressman Comer, excuse me, uh, Ken Paxson, Congressman Comer, ranking member, James Comer on House Oversight, he's now saying, you know what, we got to send an active duty military troops to the border. That sounds like quite the, the, the idea and decision to do that. He's saying the drug and human traffickers control the border now. We've got to put an end to it. What do you say to that? Well, I think he's right. There's no doubt that the cartels control the border. I don't think anybody questions that. They are moving as many people here as they possibly can get their hands on, and they're moving as many drugs as they possibly can get their hands on from China. And the reality is it would be nice to have any help we could from the federal government, whether, whether it's the U.S. military or, or it's Border Patrol, just let them do their jobs protecting our border. We'll take that. Congressman Dan Bishop and Ken Paxson, thanks for joining us.